Uh, good morning, my people. Good morning. Abians, Abians of Goodwill. Abians are followers all over the world. Good morning. Time check is 16 minutes after after X, and today is Saturday, the 23rd, the 23rd of March, 2024. This is a, 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 the general public uh, cleanup, monthly cleanup, uh, being put in place today to clean up this uh, environment because uh, 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 Easter. Easter celebration is around the corner, so it's all happening today. And we are reporting from a Popo Junction, a popular Popo Junction. We are uh, the most busiest place here in our in Inbox City. So we'll be also be taking our time to, and I also heard that the the mayor of Obiungwa is also around. So we'll be taking our time to show you guys within the shop how the clean. And the, uh, you can also see by our left hand side that the vehicles. Are being put in place for the people to throw in their refuse. As a bar, the rest of the are also here. And this uh, cleanup is too strict. The compliance is very, very strict. Nobody is allowed to make any movements unless you are on an essential duty with your valid identity card. So it's so all happening today, being said today, the 23rd of March, 2024. So we're going to show you guys within the sub, we're going to show you guys. In, I was in almost all the vehicles, even my name Abu Fuel. Nobody is allowed to use the roads as long as the clean up is still on. So, stay tuned, what we show you more. So, Kebu Kebu is reporting along the Bene Road, very close to the popular Ehere Timba Market. We have with us here the mayor of Obiungwa, Honorable Eric Ekuribe. As he is going, moving, doing the inspection by himself. Making sure that uh, Abians, residents, and also property owners clean up their environment irrespective of your locality or ever will So, oh my god, serious inspection. You are looking at this, uh, check, just check out this very good now. They have, they have not done a very neat job here. So, this is part of the inspection so that he will make sure this is a very big blockade. You can see it here. So, they are all doing the audits with their fully tools and everybody must clean up their environment, whether they like it or not. So you can see our mayor, Honorable Eric Ekuribe, doing his massive inspection, fully kitted with all his men. And fully, yes, today we will clean up the Saturday, the 23rd day of March, 2024. And clean up along Ekota Bene Road. So we will be taking our time to see what in the happen. So, uh, being uh, being somebody who operates uh, operate by law, he always gives directives for residents and also property owners to to clean up the environment. Failure to do that. This is exactly what is happening here today, and you're watching us cable cable TV from the stable of here in Aba along the Bene Road. Stay tuned, what we show you more. You can see the procedures, you can also see the penalties for those that fail to clean up their environment. All those blockades everywhere should be all be fully opened up so that the residents can be able to clean up the environment. This is operation, clean up your environment, whether you like it or not. Government is leaving no stone unturned to make sure that they sanitize and also make the city to be good, whether you like it or not. You are watching Cable Cable TV, certain what we show you within the shop in the city that never go to sleep. Welcome to Aba, welcome to Enimba City. You can see the culvert has been removed. Uh, removing the culvert, you can see what we are talking about. How do you not expect the flood, the water to flow? How do you expect this thing to work? It's not possible. It is not just possible. So this is the essence of this enforcement 
And this enforcement is being led by the mayor himself, the mayor of Obingwa, Honorable Eric Ekuribe. Honorable Eric Ekuribe. With the esteem fully kitted to discharge their duty the way it's supposed to. Look at, the, look at what we are talking about. Other places have been on, been cleaned up, but they, under this very covert, and we're a serious blockade here, making it difficult for the flowing of the water. So, and we are doing this thing very, very important because the rainy season is around the corner. So, Mawone Kilini here thoroughly and fully. Miri Bidokwa, again, we have the stories of flooding, flooding everywhere in Aba. So, no Bingwa Shiromo, the mayor, Jurajo. Also now, all may total clean up or nothing. So I know who are now new Ebolaji fuel station. If I'm not mistaken, you can see another blockade. Look at what we are talking about. Some of these got us a poor lamoko, poor vegetable, poor koru, poor so many are here. So that is why they want to enforce for them everybody to clean up, partner with the government. To clean up this their environment. Again, Imagwana, the government also provided a separate restatable buckets and also trucks for all this equipment, for all this refuse to be thrown into and also taken to the dump site. Stay tuned for more. So the the enforcement is still ongoing. We just discover another site, another building, another building. Uh, along this uh, popular Ecotech Bene Road, very close to the uh, Retimba Market, where a gutter, a government drainage, has been fully blocked, has been fully blocked to into to. I'll and give a motor and a So, all they can take a metal government. So, uh, they were going to spell out the penalty or what it takes because everyone had completely blocked. Well, uh, drainage is everywhere. So, enforcement team, Buana, and in way, such people, they will just lock their the buildings, the shops, so that they need to do the needful. And one good thing about this, uh, the mayor of Obingwa, he doesn't care whom you are, and he's not here to use you to make money. He's not here to ask you for any peanut, rather, just clean up your environment. And when they confirm that the environment has been fully cleaned up, they will open and also release you to do, do your business. So these are shops of uh, buildings that fronted this other. So and our analog procedure shop one after the other with the keys, meaning that this shop won't be open until the shop owners in May. Yeah, and I knock honey in one way or the other. So we are reporting along the Bene Road here in Aba, in Back City. So we'll be showing you guys the processes. You can have a bunch of keys. Here are serious enforcement being carried along, carried out by the mayor himself, the mayor of Obingwa, Honorable Eric Ekulibe. Today we'll clean up, monthly clean up. Kao. Satan must obey, whether you like it or not, you must do clean up. So we'll be taking our time to show you within the sub. So the process of redeeming Abia starts between me and you. You can see the enforcement being carried by the mayor of Obingwa, Honorable Eric Ekuribe. This is a street, people that fell to uh, the seal their front edicts the entrance points to their streets, this is a culvert, everywhere is fully mixed up, not only with the sand, but with the lows and lows and heaps of refuse and also bushes. So this is a, uh, what the mayor is saying. This is also a sign because there's no need to arrest people along the streets. So that is why they remove all the things so that it will serve as a warning for them to clean up this place, clean up this mess, and also fix their culvert. 
But uh, one good thing about the mayor, he always come for inspection. If at the end of the day, these people fail to do the needful, he will, the mayor will now uh, uh, release so many other areas, so many other laws, uh, or even charging them to court. This is exactly what is happening. And Kebu Kebu is here to report the situation of this as it be. Uh, so the the work is still ongoing and the people are turning up greatly in thanks of uh, doing a uh, Dixie cleanup. Then Kenya had a block, the culvert had a block, have been advised to open up their uh, their culvert. Uh, then Kenya had a panel faulty also advised to open it up and also do it properly. So the channeling of the drainage and also the channeling of the uh, waterway is something nobody is supposed to block for any reason. So that's the essence of our, <coughs> our preaching and also our sensitization here in Aba Edinburgh City. You can see, you no, know, everything is all about drainage, drainage control. So you can see all these places. All the places are all mixed up. That is what we are preaching against. Today was Saturday, the 23rd day of March, 2024. A clean-up situation report. Omega and the mayor, you know, everywhere, making sure now okay, we achieve this very height. So stay tuned. So I have last call and the 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 finishing and also the response and the people that complied now this very clean up exercise or the so encouraging you can see how neat uh drainage now looks very very sparkling clean so with this moving forward Adela you are rest assured that uh, while the renaissance is coming around uh, we are rest assured that uh, even in all this place will never be flooded. We never experience any form of flooding challenge. That's the essence of doing enforcement. That is the essence of telling Abians what they need to know and the need for them to clean up the environment. Uh, the mayor is uh, very close around the corner. He is also uh, on a thorough inspection by himself, making sure that people will turn up, people will comply, people we clean up their environment because they say cleanliness is next to godliness. If you also fail to do that, if you also fail to comply, <laughs> the authorities will hit hard on you and it won't be funny. So this is Cable Cable TV reporting in the city center of Aba, Enyimbak City. Uh, we are reporting exactly the cleanup exercise happening today, being Saturday, the 23rd day of March, 2024. Not only now, our soccer people have made cleanup, they also bring in trucks, they also bring in asapa, recycle, recycle uh, buckets, for so that all this uh, refuse will be channeled into the, uh, or taken to a permanent site. Again, and we call a uh, ASEPA mobile court to try offenders, to try offenders. So, when you are moving, when you are moving during the cleanup, if you are being caught, you are one in no, an essential duty. You are one in any form of identification to identify whom you are, what you do, and where you are heading to. They will, you will be you will be arrested and also tried by the mobile court. So as you can look at the one I need a report, this clean up as they happen. So many people not actually comply, but may comply again. You can see the mayor the, 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 the of Fubingwa with his team coming up. So and I think uh, uh, these measures, the zoom, the name, you can see the the tipper, the load, all the refuse from the Ghana, then then came to be cleaning up their environment. Then I'm going to be, I I have very good film, I have very good film with you. So thank you for watching Kebu Kebu TV. Let's see more.
that is sitting in another location in this local government. And we know, yes, we are doing this sanitation course. In the course of this job, some of them, they don't come here, they don't bring the photos to this place for us to properly try them. I don't know, they are lent at them. Um, so I might be taken to the local government. I don't know, I will like more explanations to that. So maybe if not here, we can arrange for a meeting. We also need other logistics. Like where we are sitting now is a, a school. We managed to beg them to open this place for us. We don't have a comfortable place that we we'll stay to like um, carry out this job effectively. We need to complement your efforts, whatever you are doing. Let me also at this job to commend you for the every ways of piloting the affairs of this local government since the inception of the administration. And also by extension, thank the government for all he has been doing. Like in the you are still asking for more. So have it at the back of your mind that our people need more. At the moment, we are really commending you so far for the jobs you are doing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I also thank you for this job you are doing for me is a very voluntary job. Yes. And uh, we appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Um, we don't have any other uh, system. Okay. It's only, I think, uh, the other son, they can see, they see their property. That's the yeah. 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 answer. Those are my things for me today. Okay. Um, like the some shops we are going, we are offering some shops. Okay. Don't, don't refuse to finish our contact. Okay, we walk through the jobs and some of these others. The only thing I can promise is that we look at the location of work on that court. Okay. You know, last time we talked about uh, putting it at that home junction. Yes. But I think by next sanitation, I will make it possible to let you sit there. Okay. So that is where we can have a matter of security. Yes. Not the most security. Yes. Because police is here. Online security is here, and yes. our community position people are there. So I think that should be the proper place for yes. us. Yes. yes, it should be the proper place. We prefer this at the sanitation site. All right. So the only thing we do is let's talk about it before the next sanitation. Thank you so much. Plan for it. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So off camera. We not face aside. Especially the security agencies. I came out. We work very well for today, and I hope we will continue to work on that sort of place. Things will get better. Abia will be better. We will deliver Abia to the dream of excellence in the country. We will be so passionate to see that all aspects of Abia life is okay. Both health wise, infrastructure, and everything. That is it. How do you proceed in particular? That's good. That's good. This is this is the end of today clean up and the mayor of Obiwa, Dr. Eric Ekulibe, also thanks his team and also men, men of the Nigerian police and all the security apparatus that assisted them in making sure they enforce law and order here in Abia State. Popo Boro Ghana report from you are watching Cable Cable TV. Stay tuned for more breaking news. Auntie, uh, please, may we miss you? What are you having? My name is Mrs. Soyechi, the HO of Mental Health of Bimba Local The current fresh one. Yes. Looking beautiful and presentable. Thank you. So, in a nutshell, what can you say about today's cleanup? Today's cleanup went very well. In fact, I went around to supervise the cleanup. One special at OBK Education to go home up. And they really comply. And we want also to thank the Honorable Commissioner of Environment who sent a tip us. And we are very good for monitoring. We really worked. And I still believe there's room for improvement. We need to improve from what we had today. I believe that the next one will be better than what we had today. So moving forward, what is the exit, the level of compliance in this very cleanup? Well, the level of the level of compliance for today, so we are doing uh, for percentage is about 50 percent. It's about 50 percent. I know the next one will be about 80 or 90. 
Is there any level of sensitization being done to the people in terms of making sure that this cleanup will be permanent, not be say a clean child to the Rubechi are blocked everywhere? There's a high level of sensitization. Even our mayor went around himself with a team of uh, officers with him and even environmental health officers who went around. In your, in, your, in your own little assessments, what is done up about the government making, making sure that our people will live the, because I say cleanliness is next to godliness. And I know you all fix will also be doing your own piece. And again, some people are also making some accusations, allegations concerning all those people who are running super production selling fruits selling fruits, blocking the roads with the refuse. So is there any need for you guys to let them know that it's very, very wrong for them to block these gutters? Certainly there must be continuous sensitization of the people for them to really understand the need for them to keep the environment clean. And of course, cleanliness is next to godliness. And prevention is better and cheaper than cure. Yeah, thank you once again. Thank you.